I am Angel Zapata Martin and this is a Great British Chef's signature series. Escalivada is mainly a roasted vegetables over the coals until all the skin is completely burned. I love it because it's a very rustic and traditional dish from Catalonia. Parrillan Boroyards is a wood fire restaurant. Very uh, Mediterranean, Mallorcan, uh, very convivial atmosphere as you can see around. You can enjoy a food uh, cooked by chefs uh, over the coals, over the fire, and for me it's a perfect spot to enjoy a nice meal. Hi, my name is Angel. Uh, we are in uh, Parrillan Boroyards. We are going to cook today Escalivada, which is a, cook, a dish uh, cooked over the fire. And it's mainly like a warm, warm salad, pure vegetables. We are going to first paint a little bit the vegetables with a little bit of uh, olive oil and salt. Right after, we are going to set into the coals until all the skin is uh, completely burned. Escalivada is a perfect dish for this time of the year. Made with the aubergines, shallots, peppers, and this is the best time of the year. You can find all those products, so it's very seasonal. You can see how the peppers and the aubergines starts to burn. We need to be very, very, very patient until, until you see completely uh, black, completely burned skin. Okay, if it's not uh, properly burned, it will be quite difficult uh, to peel it. So that should be the color we want to achieve. If you see that it's taking too long, no worries at all. You can actually put the vegetables a bit closer to the fire, so that will speed up a little bit the process. We have the peppers already done. Wrapping them in film will help us to peel afterwards. The aubergine is done as well. Okay, so you can see all skin is completely burned. The texture, I would say, is almost cooked. I am going to again wrap in a film for the heat to get into the core. I recommend to pull it from here so all the juices goes out and you don't burn yourself. And then pulling the skins from up to down. And no worries if there is some part of a skin attached, especially if they are a a bit burn, that is a, an amazing flavor after for our dish. So all the skins are out, okay, as you can see. Now we will keep aside. So same process with the aubergines and with the shallots. So if there is any resistance, uh, peeling it or cutting it, it's not cooked enough. But you see the, all the skin is removing very easy. So that means it's all, it's all cooked. The temperature is pretty hot. The flesh is, you can see, is already cooked. Now for the shallots. Shallots is amazing. It's just, it's just a dish by itself, you know? So good, so sweet. So the idea is to take out the first skin, the, the shell, actually, which is burned, and maybe the first leaf. I, li I like to leave this part here because that makes quite an organic, uh, rustic thing, but you can actually, if you want, if you guys does, doesn't like, you can just remove it and that's it. We have the aubergine already peeled, properly cooked, no oxidation, the shallots properly cooked, and the peppers. So we are going to cut stripes, but quite, uh, quite rustic, quite big. And I think it's nice uh, to keep the shape of the actual vegetable. You can see because, because of the texture that the shallots are completely cooked. If they are not properly cooked, they will become grey, they will, they will have an oxidation. We are going now for the peppers. Even if you roast for a while in the, in the coals, the texture is like if they are actually raw. So I'm gonna do like a nice uh, thick stripes. So you can actually see the stripes, you know, like a rustic country style food. So we have already uh, two elements in here, peppers, our shallots, and now we are gonna go through the aubergine. Because of the nature of the aubergine, the aubergine becomes already into stripes, so just select the parts. Also for this dish, I comfy myself some garlic and some uh, rosemary that we are gonna use to top up in the dish. It's basically a touch of uh, garlic which uh, goes perfectly with the scalivar. We have our, our vegetables already cut, already strained. Okay, we have a little bit of aioli. I think it's perfect match uh, for this scalivada. So we're gonna put a selection of all these veggies in a bowl before we plate up. We season a little bit on the bowl before going to the plate, so we make sure all the flavors 
are uh, unified. Maybe two, three stripes of each for one dish I think is more than enough. Actually, pepper I will put four because I love it. Also, if you want to use uh, the olive oil uh, from the garlic, happy days. Again, it has already the flavor of the garlic, uh, the flavor of the rosemary. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So you can see everything here mixed, the salt, the pepper, you can see the shiny uh, vegetables with the olive oil. We are gonna put a little bit of aioli on the plate. Okay, so I try to mix all the veggies, the shallot, the peppers, the aubergines, and finally the garlic confit. Okay, some chive tips. A little bit of olive oil to finish. The rosemary if you want from the garlics as well. So here we go, you have my escalivada.